shall leap from Bashan, which is Manasseh's territory. So the Bible is saying that Dan is going to leave from Manasseh's territory. So you can take this literal. Once Dan came into the Americas, he had to be dwelling in Manasseh's territory also. And he left there and went up into the Caribbean. The, the went up into the Bahama Islands. You understand? So now when he was down in South America, he was by another fruitful territory, the Orinoco Delta, and he leaped from there into the Caribbean, into, uh, into Trinidad and places like that. Trinidad, um, then up to Guyana, even though they have, they have Grenada on there first. Okay, so now here we see that the Lucaya people, once again, Basham was, is, in, is in Manassas territory, that area, rather. So from Cuba, they were there, and bam, they went up there. Okay, because they were connected with them also. And I remember that was one of the most power, one of the more powerful tribes was Joseph's family. Okay? So there's a lot of different things that the Most High let happen on the Eastern uh, Hemisphere and on the Western Hemisphere that are very, that are very similar. All right, that are very similar. Okay? It links down to the sea bone there. So now we're just looking at the different things that's saying about the culture. He said they looked like the people of the, Columbus said that they looked like the people of the Canary Islands, which is very interesting because the Spanish that they speak in Cuba, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, or Dominican Republic, and in Venezuela is, is purportedly related to the same has the same tone and same pronunciation as the Spanish that's spoken in the Canary Islands. So check that out. So there's a there's a Spanish relationship between how they speak in the Eastern in the Western Caribbean and in Venezuela, Venezuela, Puerto Rico, all over here. The Spanish here is different than the Spanish over here. Okay, it's different. And this Spanish here is more in, in Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and Cuba, and Venezuela is more closely related to the Spanish that's, that's spoken in um in Canary Islands. So here we see Columbus making an identification with the Canary Islands to the the, the Lucayan people that were over in the uh, over in the Bahamas. Okay. So this is a lot of things. It's a lot of things to study. All right, but the, the, the part that we're talking about, the main thing we're talking about is the fact that these people were also from a family of the, um, the Garifuna, all right? But alas, you know, say a lot of them got killed. A lot of them got killed off or they ran off into, um, into Cuba, just like some of the Seminoles uh, ran into Cuba. Some of the indigenous brothers in Florida ran into Cuba also. Okay? So we definitely going to have to do more research into this tribe of Dan thing because there's too much history, there's too much evidence, and there's too much um, documentation that goes against conventional thinking, both among Yasha Alayim, Israelites, and among, um, among secular uh, scholars as well, all right? Let me get this focused up. Yeah, farther back it gets moved, the sharper it gets, so. Any more, any, any, uh, any questions? You? Got a question? 
You got a question, Ock? What's your question, sister? You had said that there were three ways um, that you can tell or that you can show that the um, Dan is like kind of been with Judah. And you said the first one was that we dwell together and they dwell together in West Africa with Judah. Uh -huh. But I didn't get the other two ways. I don't, I don't, I think I might have misspoken that. I might have said that there was three tribes that's identified as a lion. I might have meant to say that, which is Gad, Dan, and Judah. Gad is a lion's whelp. Judah is a lion's whelp. Well, Gad dwells as a lion. Judah is a lion's whelp, and Dan is a lion's whelp. Um, well, let me well let me see if I can answer that question. He was also. Dan was also in the territory north of Judah. Okay? He was in the territory north of Judah in the Bible, in the scriptures, in real life, okay? The other thing is that he was, um, he's called a lion's whelp, just like Judah's called a lion's whelp. Okay? And the other thing is that Dan is a, um, was in West Africa. That the, that the brothers that came, the, the Garifuna brothers that came over here, they say that, a lot of them say their history came from West Africa, but you know that Judah, Benjamin, and Levi was over in West Africa also. So, I don't know if I remember saying that there's three ways we know he dwelt with Judah, or was associated with Judah closely, but those are three ways. Okay? The three ways, again, um, the scripture says he's a lion's whelp, which Judah's called a lion's whelp. Dan says that he came from West Africa. The Garifuna said they came from West Africa. And we know Judah was in West Africa. And third, the geography, that Dan did dwell north of Israel, north of, north of uh, Judah's territory. Okay? We look right here. Um, here's Judah. And there's Dan right there. There's Bethlehem right there. Well, that's Benjamin. Benjamin and Dan dwell right together. Okay? So let me see if I can pull a, a, a better map up. Some of these <clears throat> some of these maps of Israel are kind of rinky dink. But some of them are worth something. That's not really what we want. Let's see, map, tribal, Israel. That's what Dan went up to, but Dan didn't start up. Uh, Dan didn't start off up here. He went up there. He didn't start right there. He started down further south right here. Okay, Judah, Dan, Ephraim. Even still, you see Dan is over here with uh, Ephraim and Manasseh right there too. That's what he's at right there. Um, we got a Dan up there. She, he went up that area, and then he's, the prophecy said he's going to leap from there. Okay, here's Dan, and here's uh, Bashan, is Manasseh's territory. Okay. You got that? And then in the middle of Dan's territory, did you notice did you notice who was in the middle of Judah's territory? Bam. Simeon. See that? Okay, and over here, uh, let me see another one. 
They got Simeon right there, but he wasn't down that far. He was in the mix with Judah. Simeon, okay, right with him. We got it all right there. Hmm? So Simeon. That's why a lot of Simeon's more than a lot of his other Spanish speaking tribe. That's why Simeon, that's why Simeon, which is Dominican Republic, that's why they get down with Judah so much. That's why they get along with Judah so tough, because they got that kindred spirit relationship between them that goes into the past. Okay? That's why they got that that relationship. Okay, that's why, you know, uh, black people in America, which is the tribe of Judah, and black and indigenous people in Dominican Republic, which is the tribe of Simeon, can click together and get along so good. More a lot, you know, more so than the other tribes. You know, I mean, they, the other tribes get along, but more so these two of the, all the other Spanish-speaking tribes can get together very well. Okay, because they used to dwell right in the same vicinity. Okay. And studies have shown that Simeon, Simeon socializes more with Judah in America than Ephraim or Issachar or Zebulon. That Dominicans socialize more with so-called black people in America than Puerto Ricans or Cubans or, 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 or Guatemalans. You understand? Even though they might look the same and similar and have a lot of, you know, kind of uh, things that they can uh, touch on and agree that, you know, we're going to do this this kind of way or you do it that way. They still only really socialize more with their own tribe. But Simeon socializes more with uh, Judah or so-called black Americans than the other tribes do. Even though you might see Puerto Rico and so-called black people in the movies, that's only because Puerto Rico get more exposure because that's the tribe of Ephraim. So they have more seniority. They have more spiritual seniority than Dominicans because they are one of the. They are the the, uh, the tribe of Israel that got the inheritance. Joseph did. So they're like one of the top tribes in Israel. You understand? So that's why they get more exposure. That's why Judah and Ephraim get the most exposure because most exposure as far as like in the media and TV and all that because those are the two tribes that were the leaders. And the two tribes that were uh, that prevailed, and they got the inheritance also, all right? Which is uh, Ephraim got the get the inheritance, or you know uh, Joseph. All right, so so that, that's so that's Simeon right there. So um, okay, so. Already. <clears throat> All right, so answer your question. Time. Any more question? Time. What? Um, you said that they, um, the, the um, white people separated the red cribs and the black cribs and mm -hmm. kind of put like a division. But did is was that successful because they so much still identify with? You? Not really. It was only successful geographically, so they have a big geographical difference between them, but. You know, they get together every now and then, and some remnants are left behind. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't successful as far as, like, causing, like, hatred between the two. Okay? It would be interesting to go down to Dominica and see how well the two of them get along down there. Some islands you go to, they side by side. Okay? <coughs> because... You can be a so-called black man, be a Garifuna, and then you can marry a Mayan woman in Belize, that who they would call, you know, uh, Mayan, and then the baby would come out or can come out looking like what you would call a red Carib. So you right back to having another 
type of Israelite, another type of Danite in your family that looks like, you know, the other uh, red Carib. You understand? And the same thing can happen. You know, so-called uh, Maya man, you know, could marry a so-called so uh, black woman and have another baby. The baby might come out, you know, it looks like a, a black Carib or, you know, it goes either way. So when you go into that part of the country, you don't have as much distinction and separation between once them two tribes get together, they get together. Okay? So you see this a lot more really in Belize than any place else. Where you have what they call Spanish, Creole, and, uh, and Mayan kind of getting together. More so the so-called Spanish. And really, the, so, most of the Spanish are really just the Mayan that have been assimilated you know, as a part of European culture and practice European culture and the ones that have come up from Central America, other parts of Central America into Belize and been there for, you know, a couple of gener a few couple of generations. Most of what you call Maya and Spanish, so-called Spanish, are actually the same people with the Mayans being more excluded, more off to the side, more off to the cut. And another reason they call them Maya and Spanish is because the Spanish have a Spanish last name. But they look indigenous. Whereas opposed to the Maya, they look indigenous and they have an indigenous last name. Like Kok or Chuk or Teul or Su or or uh Z. Okay? So they have indigenous they still have indigenous last names as opposed to Ramirez, Gonzalez, Garcia, Sanchez, Rivera, Rodriguez. They have more Spanish last name, but they were still, they're still in the same area, but they just more excluded. So now, when you take them from the excluded area and bring them into the city, because they have that Mayan identity, they're going to most likely stick with somebody who's either ethnically or culturally similar to them. You understand? So they're not going to be marrying a lot of so-called black people or a lot of so-called Spanish people. Okay? Like the one brother... Um, he's a cock. And then he married a Teul, which are both indigenous names. Okay? So the Spanish names, a lot of time marry the Spanish names, but then the indigenous names, a lot of time marry the indigenous names. But sometimes you do get some of the indigenous names that would marry a Spanish or an English name from the tribe of Benjamin or from the tribe of, uh, from the tribe of, uh, of, of Zebulon, but just from a more Anglicized, let's say Europeanized culture. You understand that? Okay. Question? You understand everything? So you can answer questions about it? Okay. So where did it say the Lucanian came from, migrated from? Mm -hmm. From the. Mainly from where? The Delta. No, a little more in the Eastern. In the Western Caribbean, where they say they migrated from. Um, Who knows the answer? Where the Lucayans, where's the Lucayan, where's the Lucayan land closest to? Um, you. You know? I'm just asking, do you know or not? You know? I think so. Where? Dominican Republic. Where? No. The Lucayan culture was in Bahamas. And it's closer, do you know? And it's closer to Cuba. It's right here on the map that we pulled up a few minutes ago. Right there. It says Cuba. Manasseh. Leak from Bashan. That's why I went to the other map and I showed that Bashan was actually... In, you know, around the areas of East Manassas. Yeah. And to, for them to go from there to there would be kind of more fulfilling of that prophecy. Not the prophecy, but that characteristic. All right, so. so anybody else? Anybody got any more Tribe of Dan stuff? Alright, so Shema Yasha Allah, Yahweh, Allah, Yahweh, Akkad.
wa habta afi hawa al hayaka bakal babka wa bakal paska wa bakal maadka here ya sha'ala yahawa our power yahawa is our power yahawa is one and you shall love yahawa your power with all your heart with all your soul with all your might hallelujah 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 shalom alaikum